Ever, we are open to any questions on any subjects related to the game. So, um, about the, uh, not so much the uh, amount of airtime that women athletes get, but the presentation of them in the, I mean, the German gymnasts have raised the issue of sexualized outfits. What we can do is to make sure that our coverage does not highlight or feature in any particular way. Uh, um, you know, uh, what people are wearing and whether these, uh, uh, the, the, the clothes that they're wearing, whether they highlight any particular elements of the body that uh, have to do with stereotypes. So you will not see in our coverage some things that we have been seeing in the past, you know, with details and close up in, 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 in parts of the body or elements that really speak about sexuality or any other type of stereotyping of gender. As ever, we will discuss all sorts of other questions which you wish to uh, later, but let's first, we're gonna talk. Looking at Japanese media when it comes to sports, it's really um, biased when it comes to gender. Um, there's lots of, um, I wouldn't say um, discrimination, but it's, um, when it comes to female athletes, it's totally biased. Um, many of the channels look at um, female athletes as female or, or girls or um, wives or mothers and, and not really as pure athletes. Associated Press, I apologize. I have two questions because two different topics. In Japan, we, don't, we still don't talk about mental health. And when uh, Naomi Osaka came out with the issue, there's been lots of uh, comments, negative comments on her. And I believe that was also kind of exaggerated with the gender um, issue, you know, being a woman. Um, but I, I don't think there is enough understanding on mental health. and. Uh, and she gave an opportunity. But I think that there are lots of athletes coming out right now that it's actually common and, you know, almost every athlete's experienced it. And um, so it has been, it has been an important landmark at that time. There's a, press, there's a question about the uh, podium celebrations, I think, and you said um, it's not a like to have, but a must have. And then a few hours later, the rules changed. The, the, the idea is to give uh, those athletes who have been competing, when everyone else has stepped back, the chance to remove their mask for 30 seconds, staying on their steps for a photo. And I think everyone would appreciate, one, that the risk is very, 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 very low, and two, that's completely understandable. I know what you're going to try to get to the microphone and ask me about. It's, yes, it's not being... It's not, Presumably, it's not being followed. Those guidelines were sent during the day, and yes, we are trying to make sure that they are closely, closely followed. Yeah, we can consider that it's uh, one of those proofs that the Japanese people are passionate about the, uh, these Olympic Games. But in the meantime, uh, we have been saying that um, um, we are requesting um, general audiences to refrain from coming to the roadside under the current situation. So um, I, I will have to say that we should thank for those people who did not come and stay their homes to watch those events uh, in their places. So, oh, yeah, of course there's a mixed feeling, but we have to stress that um, this, is, this is the rule that we are conveying. Uh, we need to keep saying that uh, people need to refrain from coming to those uh, road events. And it's also, Mark already touched on, for, for now we have no discussions on the new development in terms of accommodating spectators. But uh, the decision on the Paralympic Games uh, will come after the end of these Olympic Games.